Right, so in the last video, I created uh, Nathan's branch, which uh, we can see from the drop down here. Um, and in, in that branch, I, I implemented all of the features that Nathan had to implement. Um, and uh, in this video, what's going to happen is we're going to look at what happens uh, when uh, a pull request uh, clashes with another pull request. So in this case, what's going to happen is Tien's going to create a branch and he's going to base his branch off the master branch. So we create that branch there. And this is very similar to what was happening in the last video. So we've got the master along here and then Tien's branch comes off here. Um, at the moment, there's no changes. Um, but if we go into Tien's copy here, it is uh, it doesn't have the changes you'll notice that, that are on the, the Nathan branch at the moment. Um, and that's because Nathan's branch hasn't been pulled back into the master. We haven't we haven't accepted that pull request. So let's let's implement Tien's features now. Um, so on the Tien, Tien branch, we're implementing Tien's features. We save and close. Um, and now back here in GitHub, we no it notices that there is a change. So uh, it sees that Tien's features have been implemented. Um, and we can say add Tien's features uh, and commit that. So this is this is committed that to the Tien branch. Um, and like we did last time, we can publish and it will sync. Um, and then what we'll see on the uh, internet side of things is the uh, both branches um, so at the moment it's two but we'll be able to see all three branches so there will be the master branch my branch Nathan's branch and Tien's branch um, and they'll all be different so if we look at Nathan's branch here um, we can see that there uh, is the extra Nathan's feature that's been added in if we look at the master branch um, so that's Tien's that's just popped up now so if we look at the master branch, it will just have the basic um, text. We don't have the rest of the features. And if we look at Tien's branch now, we've also got a new feature in this one, which is Tien's features. So we've all implemented our, our features, um, but what happens when we try to pull, of, pull these features in? So let's first of all try to pull Nathan's features in. So compare and pull. Um, so we get this kind of um, dialogue that comes up. Uh, you can basically just, if you're happy with the name names of that there, that's just the um, to keep track of what you've pulled in. Um, you can go create pull request, and when you're happy with it, merge that pull request again, just to keep track. You name everything, so we're going to confirm, and now that feature has been merged into the master branch. So if we look at our master branch here, we're on our master. We open up the text file, and we see that Nathan's feature is now implemented in the uh, in the master branch. So what about uh, Tien's feature? Let's see if we can pull in Tien's feature in the same way. So Tien's created a feature, but there's a problem here. It says we can't automatically merge. So we can create the pull request, but we know there's gonna be some issues. So let's have a look at what these issues are. It says here that the branch has conflicts that must be resolved. So to, do, to, to, do, uh, to resolve those conflicts, what we need to do is go back into the GitHub client, and we need to look at Tien's branch here. So first of all, we need to synchronize our master. So our master's had some changes, so we need to pull those changes in, make sure that what we've got on our computer here makes sense um, with what's with what's online, with what's on the actual the GitHub um, online repository. So we'll just let that sync. Okay, so that's done. Um, and now what we can do is, so we, over here we can see there's a, uh, a, a pull request here. Um, so that's uh, where we've merged in Nathan's feature. Um, and then what we can also do is go here and take Tien's branch. And Tien's branch, so you can notice that the, the master here has kind of moved on without us. So we've been working on features up on this branch, but the master here has got some changes of its own that we haven't we haven't seen yet. So what we want to do is basically pull this change here back around and up in through to our branch so that we're working on the same kind of base as master basically. So to do that, we sync our branches. Um, so we're going to sync the TN branch up now. Okay, and now that it's synced, we get this update from master um, button here. So if we click update from master, it will say that we're unable to merge because we've got some conflicts. So this is the issue that we were having before, the conflicts. So conflicts just mean that two people have changed the same parts of the file. 
uh, of the same file. So if we look at this here, we've got Tien's features have been implemented here. Um, oh, sorry, actually, if we look here, we've got Tien's features implemented here and Nathan's features implemented here. So these these arrows and equal signs basically just um, signal where the files have, uh, the, the, oh, sorry, they signal the two different versions of the files. So between the equals and the arrows here is the copy that's in the masters, which just says Nathan's feature. Uh, and between these ones, we have uh, the uh, copy that's on Tien's branch, which is Tien's features. So what we, were, what we want to do now is work out which bits we want to keep from this. So to do that, we right click and we say, we could, we've got a couple of options. We can discard the changes or we can just edit the changes. So in this case, we actually want to keep both Nathan's features and Tien's features. So let's keep Tien's features um, and we just get rid of these, these bits here and we're going to keep Nathan's features as well. So we'll make it look nice. Um, and then once we're happy with it, we can save the file, um, close that. GitHub will notice that the, the conflicts have been fixed, that they're all changed. We click uh, check the file to say that we want to um, commit that file. And in our commit, it's, it already uh, automatically fills in these, these um, fields here. And it says that the merge branch master, uh, uh, sorry, we're merging the branch master into TN. So we're basically merging this master, the master branch here up into TN so that we have the latest copy of the latest changes from the master branch in our own branch here. So we commit those changes to the TN branch and you can see it kind of pops in there. Um, and now that it's there, we are able to sync again and we'll be able to do, we'll be able to accept that pull request from master now. So we'll be able to pull that, that, um, that uh, TN feature into the master branch. So this, this way it allows two people to work on different files at the same time and uh, change the same parts of code, but then keep both bits. Um, so keep Tien's features and Nathan's features in this case, um, and we can put them both into the master. So now we don't lose anyone's work. So that's all synced. And back on the website, it's uh, all gone green, so it means it's all happy. Um, we're able now again to pull Tien's uh, branch into the master. So we can merge the pull request, confirm the merge, and now that feature has been pulled into the master. So if we click on the um, master, we go to the master branch here, we look at the hello.txt and we have Tien's features and Nathan's features and it's all working beautifully. So now we can um, continue to add features, we can check out different branches, um, continue to add features and continue to submit pull requests uh, which will allow us to pull things into the master.